Hello, I'm Nancy Maddox on WYTV7 in Charlotte on Shine Your Light Radio Ministry in Little Rock, Arkansas, and I'm so excited to be with you again. Let me talk a little bit about WYTV7 first. WYTV7 is a nonprofit. We do a lot in the community as far as literacy goes and feeding the homeless. We are very excited about that. We did a lot this year, and we have more planned uh, this upcoming year. And Shine Your Light Radio Ministry is a ministry that allows people to come on, and I interview them to shine their light and talk about their projects and what they're doing and their testimony. So I'm really excited about that today. We have an exciting guest today uh, who uh, is an award-winning singer. He has a new project we're going to be talking about. He uh, um, is also uh, from Houston, Texas. His name is Dr. Bo Williams. Thank you for coming, Dr. Williams. Oh, I'm excited and happy to be here with you today. Well, I feel like I'm interviewing a movie star, so I'm really excited about that. (laughs) But before we get started, let me check on you and your family. Are you okay with the flooding in Houston? Uh, Yeah, we're doing very well, and we've been helping uh, the victims uh, that (laughs) was affected in the flood. So we're doing very well. That's awesome. That's just really, that, that's a great thing to do. I mean, it's just so sad when you see it. It, it just yes. came so fast, and now it's receding, but still the damage is done. I mean, the cars were just, it was covering up the cars. You know, the water was oh, so yeah. bad. Uh, this, was, uh, this was one of the worst of the worst. It was bad, but God kept me through it all. He kept me, and uh, we didn't have any real problems but we were helping those that had the real problem. Wow. Well, tell me tell me a little bit about your testimony, Dr. Williams. You've been in the business a long, long time as a, as a uh, you know, as a recording artist. So tell me a little bit about your testimony. Well, the, uh, the notoriety came in uh, 1984. I was a Star Search winner. I defeated the 13-week champion on Star Search. And so uh, I just got instant uh, <laughs> a notoriety through that television program. And people are still talking about Star Search like it just happened uh, days ago or what have you. But uh, that was a mile marker moment for me. And I was very excited when the Ed McMahon said, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a new champion, Bo Williams. And I threw up both hands up. Praise God. <laughs> wow, that's exciting. See, I didn't know that, and I didn't read that anywhere. So I really do have a movie star on my hands. I love that. <laughs> and uh, I always love it when I have a recording artist uh, on to interview because I, I love to, you know, I love the uh, songs and the singing myself. But I just think that's fantastic, and you've really, uh, you've really spread your wings and really are helping a lot of people, which is yeah. what our mantra is at W. Y T V seven. If we if we help one, we've done our job. So, and we we have about a couple of million viewers uh, on W Y T V seven. So it's really a a global uh, global uh, radio uh, show, and uh, you should get a lot of exposure for that. But let's talk a little bit about your new project and uh, and the award winning song that goes with that. God kept me. Uh, yes. Did you do a, why a book and a single? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the, uh, the notoriety uh, to Bo Williams, sometimes people don't recognize the name, but the song Wonderful uh, became like a household uh, word, wonderful, and I did a lot of television and, and did that on television. And uh, this song, God Kept Me, uh, it has a lot to do with testimony. God has kept uh, my wife and I, our marriage for 46 years, and I'm very excited about that. And uh, uh, a little testimony that happened uh, uh, some time ago. I was in Wichita Falls, and they had a, a flood after the concert. And uh, my car was flooded out, and uh, 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 it was a near-death experience. You know, we got out of the window. The water was above our waist, and we had a, like an uphill climb in the water, and it was raining. And, and I said, well, God, what's going to happen when I get up to heal? And they had a couple with the van door open and they took us to our hotel. I mean, just God just made a way out of no, seemingly no way. And he's always that way. God is a keeper. That's why uh, I'm excited about the new single, God Kept Me. And it's featuring the Hamatones. They're a very famous group and these guys can really sing. 
Wow. As a matter of fact, they're from uh, 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 they're from Carolina. How oh, big? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So uh, uh, it's uh, the the video is out now and uh, doing very well. You could go to YouTube, uh, uh, all the media outlets, uh, uh, and pull up the video, and you can actually see uh, me singing the song "God Kept Me Backed Up by the Hammer Tones." And it's it's wow. It's very, well, you know, so, I really, I really want to, I want to include that YouTube video on this interview if we have. That would be permission. great. That would be great. Uh, we can insert that, and uh, and then people, people can actually hear and see, you know, what what's happening. Yes. Uh, it is a beautiful uh, song, a beautiful release, and Thank it's you. an award-winning song. So it's uh, kind of neat. Well, tell me, you wrote a book too to go with this single? Uh, we wrote a twenty-one day, uh, twenty-one day devotional book. It's and the book is entitled "God Kept Me" as well. Okay. So each, every day you can uh, uh, read uh, in the in the twenty one day devotional uh, uh, something that's going to be an inspiring and, and something will be a blessing to you and your entire family. Wow. Okay. And then you talked a little bit about your album, Wonderful. Uh, that was a number 22 and a number two on the Billboard's top contemporary Christian and top gospel album charts. So that, that did fantastic too. And that's what you're talking about. There's a lot of, uh, there was a lot of, um, people recognize that song, Wonderful, which is that album too. Yes. So when you, even when that. you talk about the new project, you, you can tell people it's the same guy that did the song "Wonderful," uh, and as a matter of fact, my uh, the, the song "Wonderful" won the Song of the Year Dove Award, and then it won the, the uh, Traditional Album of the Year. So that was really a blessing to uh, 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 win all of those awards for that project. Uh, but my, I'm more excited about being a soul winner you know god has called me to be a soul winner so many people tell me they get saved through my ministry and how it, it kept them in prison and those type of things so that's a real blessing you know well, there's real there's really power in music it really is it really is that it, that interests me that you said it helps them through prison um yeah. shine your light does have a, a prison ministry that we do where we publish their books. We help them write their stories if you're incarcerated or you're informally incarcerated. And, you know, because everyone that, that's in prison really has a lot of time on their hands and they write a lot. They write journals. We could take yes. those turn it into a book, which is fantastic. So I love I love that anytime I hear anything about the prison ministry because uh, mass, incarcer mass incarceration is just way out of hand. You know? Well, the Apostle Paul wrote 13 books and he was in prison. Yeah, he wrote thirteen books of the Bible. So uh, uh, you have all that time on on your hand. You want to make uh, good use of your time. Exactly, exactly. So, how did you decide to do this project? Uh, God kept me, and uh, who did the production of your single? Uh, well, uh, my son-in-law actually. Uh, we wrote the song "God Kept Me." Uh, his name is Billy Dorsey, and he's a great writer and a a great producer and uh uh the song god kept me is is the uh the 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 first single from the cd uh the cd was uh basically written about uh my wife and our our, our life uh and marriage together uh this the project is entitled timeless and they have some beautiful love songs on the project god has anointed me to write love songs from a Holy Ghost heart. Come with somebody. <laughs> and so uh, I'm sure that it's, it's going to be something that everybody can enjoy. Yes, sir. Wow. So you say you've been married 46 years? No, I've been married 46 years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been married 47. So we're Really? We're, well, God it's bless just you. uh I tell everyone it's uh, um there's a lots of ups and downs, but you know you just have to keep you just have to keep in it. And well, uh, it's, it's, it's a lifetime commitment. I, I <laughs> yes, it marriage is. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. commitment, you know. That's exactly and right. That's exactly just, right. So congratulations. We make the best of it. We make the best of it. Uh, my wife is my my very best friend. Uh, the love of my life, and and I just thank God for. Her. So um, when you when you're on tour and all that stuff, she goes with you, right? 
most of the time. Most yeah. of the time she goes with me. Because well, all of fun. our all of our children are grown and gone. So <laughs> we don't <laughs> yes, have anything sir. to hold us back anymore. Right, exactly. So uh what prompted you to become active in the ministry? Well, uh I grew up in ministry. My daddy was a pastor. He pastored two churches. We went to one on the first and second Sunday and the other one on the third and fourth Sunday. So I grew up in church. My mother uh, was the, uh, led the choir. She was a great singer and, and, and we were the backup. And then uh, the baton was passed on to me. And I, <laughs> I started doing the lead and, and wow. uh, started recording that's, gospel. And it's been a real that's blessing. Been, yeah, that's <laughs> fantastic. So, um, how has being married helped you stay grounded, doctor? Well, well, uh, my wife she she assists me in everything. I mean, when 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 it's when the Bible said God gives you a helpmate, I, that really came true for my life. Uh, my wife has been a great helper to me, and and, and uh, uh, marriage is what you make of it. Uh, we you you can make up your mind. To have a great marriage, and uh, that's what you have. My wife and I, we have a great marriage, a great friendship, and uh, uh, I, if I had it to do all over again, I'll do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Is your wife still standing there? I'd like for her to photo bomb this interview. Just put your face in here, ma'am, and let us see you. Wave to us. She's still there? Well, yeah, let me just get her. Uh, sweetheart, would you just come and just say hello? Just stick your face. She, yeah, I'd love for her just to say hello to you. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, are you hey. for me? Oh, my goodness. I've been some grocery shopping all morning, but listen, uh, I, I just I have so many reasons to thank God uh, for my husband is my best friend. He's, he's my love for life. You know, I've managed my husband's career for the past 30-something years. Wow. And, uh, we have worked together on all of his projects throughout the years. And God has really been good to us. He really has. And we raised all of our four children. Children, We have three daughters and, and one wonderful son and three wonderful daughters. And uh, they have all pretty much developed their gift from their dad. They've done some background vocals on some of his music. And uh, But here we are today. And we're so, by God's grace, we're here. God has kept us 46 years uh, in our marriage, you know. And... Um, We've experienced some some up and down and and bumps and bruises, but we we managed to keep our uh, our marriage together. And I'm just so happy to say that we have it on cruise control now. You better have it. After this. <laughs> I totally understand. Yeah, I've been married 47 years, so I totally understand that. Well, thank you for joining us for just a few minutes. I really wanted to see his soulmate and let you say a few words. And uh, like I say, we'll have over we can have over two million viewers on this. It's real exciting. We're a global uh, radio radio station, so it's real exciting. So, um, and he's talked so highly of you. Thank you so much darling i appreciate you yes, and yes. um thank you um so tell tell me a little bit more about how uh, a doctor how god has uh, helped you through your challenges well uh god has been there through every challenge that i've had uh, uh some years ago uh i was uh in miami florida to do some taping for the tvn program and uh I was getting ready to go work out and had a heart attack. Ooh, my and, uh, God gave me the strength to drive myself uh, to the hospital. I talked to my wife and she said, go to the hospital now. Drove myself to the emergency room and they, uh, they admitted me right away. The doctor said, you're having a heart attack now. And I was there for five days and they kept me for five days. And when they released me on that Friday, I was scheduled to preach on that Sunday. So I was singing and preaching and shouting unto the Lord <laughs> that Sunday. And he's kept me ever since. And uh, wow, been over five years ago. Don't we serve an awesome God? Oh my we goodness! We serve an awesome, awesome God. Yes, so we do. Excited. Well, I want to. I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I'd like for you to just sing. If you can sing just like a little of the chorus for okay. us, for God. Well, I'll sing a little bit of the the the, the, the verse. You. When sure. peace like the river escapes me. And I'm stranded on that worrying shore. New mercies with the dawn overtake me. 
And I don't have to worry anymore When my hope supply is empty And my heart cries, this looks like the end I remind myself that we serve a God of victory And say, I know my God will triumph once again Look at your neighbor and say, my God, he kept me <laughs> That is just so is a beautiful Thank, Thank you so much for that <laughs> So what's next? Uh, what's next with you and your music and your ministry? What's coming up? Well, uh we're actually planning a tour, and uh, we're going to be touring the country uh, with the song God Kept Me, and uh, we're excited about that, and, and uh, we'll give you a little update on that as uh, when we get closer to, to that. Okay. Be sure to do that, because we want to be sure, and uh, I'll help you uh, promote that and all Wonderful. of that. And uh, we're real good at WYTV7 and Shine Your Light of promoting uh, promoting this broadcast as well as promoting uh, anything that you do. So we'll be real well, excited to help you with that. Please encourage everyone to, to get the single. And you can download the video, uh, uh, God Kept Me with the Hammer Tones. And uh, uh, you can go to the uh, all of the media outlets, uh, Pandora, uh, iTunes, Google, uh, uh, just all of the Amazon, all, all of the uh, media outlets. Uh, yeah, and for our audience and our listeners, uh, we will be uh, putting inserting the YouTube uh, video so people can please hear the whole version yes, and please. see you see you in action. So yes. you're such a you're such a beautiful person and with a thank great you. spirit. So thank and I thank you so, you so much for being on. So can you give our listeners a uh, one powerful takeaway to really inspire them to be better and to leave their mark on the world because you you're leaving your mark on the world now. Yes. Well, uh, you know, I, I would tell people uh, the scripture that says, seek God first. Seek God first and his righteousness. And then it says, all these things shall be added to you. So that's the principle that we live by here in my home. We, we seek God first in everything that we do. And uh, uh, I, that way, I believe that you would going to be successful. Matthew 6 and 33, Jeremiah, uh, Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Uh, another favorite scripture of mine is Jeremiah 33 and 3. He says, ultimately, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you know not of. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir. Wow. Well, I appreciate you so much for letting me interview. We're going to have to cut it a little short because I want to add the uh, the YouTube video in there. Yes, please. And uh, I thank you so much. I'm going to have you on after you set, have you on again after you set your schedule to talk a little bit about your tour so we can get the word out on that. And I just appreciate you and your wife so much for the interview. Um <laughs> And we'll be we'll be in touch with you. And uh, I know that my audience is going to be so excited to hear everything about you and all the great great things that you're doing in your ministry and your songs and your singing. So thank, thank you, you so, so much. Good. I appreciate you. Okay. You have yes. a great day. Thank you. You have a wonderful day as well. Once again, turn to your name and say, my God.